This country is known as the land of the volcanoes, little thumb of America, snow in the tropics, small country with big population, and the first one to legalize Bitcoin in 2021. And it is tax-free now. Yes, it's El Salvador. And did you know that the newly elected president, Nayib Bukele, implementing an aggressive strategy against gang violence in El Salvador that has resulted in the highest incarceration rate in the world with over 100,000 people in prison? Here's everything you need to know about this ever-evolving country. El Salvador, a small Central American nation, situated between Guatemala and Honduras, has a story that starts when Pedro de Alvarado, a Spanish explorer, first set foot on Salvadoran territory in the early 16th century. Unfortunately, despite the resistance of the native people, Lenza and Maya peoples, El Salvador was colonized by Spain. There was an intense desire for independence throughout the 19th century. In 1821, El Salvador won over Spanish rule and joined the ranks of newly sovereign Latin American countries. But life isn't all mangoes and pupusas. El Salvador experienced social inequality, political unrest, and internal conflict. The Salvadoran Civil War in 1980 to 1992 scarred the nation, leaving deep wounds. The country has recently experienced major gang violence, political turmoil, and social instability. But look, a flicker of promise appeared. El Salvador recorded 1,140 cases in 2021, a sharp decrease from the record of 6,656 in 2015. Their resilience became the heartbeat of a new era. Now, let's talk numbers. El Salvador's economy changed between difficulties and successes like a pendulum. El Salvador is expected to reach 33 billion US dollars by the end of 2024, according to Trading Economics Global Macro Models and Analyst Expectations, while the per capita income was only around $5,000, less than half of the average for the world. The recent tax law change in El Salvador makes all remittances of foreign earned income tax free. Yes, you heard it right, it's tax-free, reducing the tax from 30% to 0%. Foreigners can send money from abroad tax-free, enabling them to have El Salvador as their main tax residency with a 0% tax rate on income earned outside the country. As El Salvador was the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are also tax-free offering an attractive environment for wealthy individuals to invest and become citizens after donating $1 million. First, El Salvador's flag consists of three horizontal stripes. Two blue stripes represent the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean, which surround El Salvador. The blue also symbolizes the sky where this Central American nation is located. One white stripe stands for peace, a hope for tranquility and harmony within the nation. Next is the coat of arms. In the center of the white stripe, you will find it. This is a powerful visual representation of El Salvador's identity. The coat of arms features a triangle, signifying the three pillars of the Republic, the executive, legislative, and judicial powers. It's a reminder of the democratic beliefs that bind the nation. Within the triangle, five volcanoes rise out of the sea. These volcanoes are not just geographical features, they symbolize El Salvador's resilience, strength, and determination. The coat of arms bears the national motto, Dios, Union, Libertad, which translates to God, Union, Liberty. These words echo the spirit of the Salvadoran people. Lastly, unity and sovereignty. The flag of El Salvador serves as a symbol of hope for the future and the country's resiliency. Fast forward to the present day, and El Salvador is known as the land of the volcanoes. Picture this. Over a hundred mapped volcanoes, with 20 still active. Santa Ana, the main character, stands tall, 
watching over her people like a protective mother. Exploring El Salvador's different terrains, we come across grassy fields where the wind whispers secrets to the balsa trees. Along the coast, vast savannas spread like blankets, and the pink blooms of the Makalishwat, the national tree. Meet the Izot, the national flower. With its spiky leaves protecting delicate yellow blossoms, it symbolizes endurance. Just like Salvadorans, the Izot flourishes despite challenges. It's like a living symbol of hope. In San Salvador, the lively capital, colonial architecture blends with vibrant street art. But wait, El Salvador isn't an island. It shares borders with Guatemala in the west and Honduras in the north and east. Imagine crossing invisible lines, stepping into different worlds. El Salvador also spans about 8,000 square miles, making it smaller than its neighbors. From lowlands below 1,000 meters to cloud forests above 2,000 meters, the altitude varies like a dance. And guess what? The highest point is Cerro El Pital, rising to 2,730 meters, a real stairway to the sky. And about the weather in Fahrenheit, it's like enjoying a refreshing iced drink on a sunny day, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the coastal lowlands. But if we switch to Celsius, it's a comfortable 27 degrees Celsius. During the rainy season, expect tropical downpours. And in the dry season, the air feels crisp, almost like relaxing on a hammock. El Salvador's population stands at approximately 6.5 million. Most Salvadorans are mestizo, about 86.3%, a mix of native Salvadoran and European, but mostly Spanish in heritage. Other ethnic groups include those of pure European descent, 12.7%, pure indigenous descent, 1%, and a small percentage of Afro-Salvadorans, 16%, and others about 0.64%. El Salvador's recently elected president, Nayib Bukele, has launched an aggressive campaign against gang violence. Human rights concerns regarding El Salvador's jail system and circumstances of incarceration are serious in 2024, especially during the administration in concern. The government's strong anti-gang drive has resulted in massive incarcerations and the highest imprisonment rate with over 100,000 individuals behind bars. The predominant religion in El Salvador is Roman Catholicism, with a strong influence on daily life and traditions. The official language is Spanish, spoken by most of the population. The gender ratio is approximately 0.92 male to female, while life expectancy averages 75 years, with men living to around 71 years and women to 79 years. And here are some notable Salvadorans, an educator and influential figure in Salvadoran society, Gabriela Rodriguez de Bukele, a political figure who served as president during the tumultuous Salvadoran Civil War, Jose Napoleon Duarte, a professional footballer, Eric Zavaleta, former president of El Salvador, Previously a successful journalist, Mauricio Funes, and a celebrated poet, essayist, journalist, and leftist activist, Roque Dalton. With a hot climate, outdoor life is essential. Music plays everywhere, on streets, beaches, and in parks. When it comes to it, El Salvador's music scene is diverse, blending traditional and modern genres. Cumbia, with its percussion-heavy beats, is a favorite at parties and social gatherings. It evolved into a distinct Salvadoran style. Other genres include salsa, bachata, rock, indigenous, jazz, funk, rap, hip-hop, pop, ska, and reggae. Salvadorans love their music loud, often drowning out city noise. Salvadorans know their food, and here are some of their culinary delights. Pupusas, handmade tortillas filled with cheese, pork, beans, or laraco, a local edible flour, topped with curtido, a sour cabbage salad and tomato sauce. A must-try. Tamales, corn dough mixed with spices, 
filled with chicken, boiled egg, and tomato-based sauce. Perfect for special celebrations. Seafood El Salvador's extensive coastline means seafood features prominently in its cuisine. Sopa de Pata is a hearty cow foot soup enjoyed by locals. If you enjoyed this video on El Salvador, you'll love this next one.